how do you, um, before you guys have to clap, how do you, um, how do you work in conjunction with like the marketing department? And because uh, I know publicity is We're out. very much, okay, so. I mean, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people use the term marketing promotions and they misuse them. So I'm just getting, getting an artist to really understand you know, how plans are put together and then how they're actually implemented. Can you just give them a, a, an overview of that? I would say marketing is the hub of a label. Um, I know I said the music comes from a &R, they're the person in the grind, they're the streets, they're the ones that brings the music, they're the ones that keep the lights on. You know, if we don't have proper a &R, then our lights aren't gonna be kept on because they're not bringing us music to properly work. Once a &R brings us the right music, and I don't wanna put so much pressure on a &R, but that really is where the pressure comes from. Um, Marketing is the hub, and they'll put together the plan of where they think this art should be properly marketed. Um, whether it's snipes, whether it's advertising, what we buy dollars for, whether it's TV advertising, whether it's, um, I just, okay. I'm just trying to figure out. I kind of want to take it more visually. I'm just not, I'm more of a visual person. Dave, can I just do it? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. This is everybody. Okay, he's NR, okay? He's gonna be street team. He's marketing, I'm listening, and he sells. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's kind of like the breakdown of each each area in the building. So it's AR, he brought us the music, okay? Um, he says, okay, I want you to take this music and I want you to go to the different clubs. I want you to go to all the DJs and say, here's my single, okay? I want you to go to Club D, I heard they're doing a hip hop showcase. I want you to get with all the DJs. I want you to go up to Flex. I want you to go to, um, yeah, help me with the DJ names. Get with all the different DJs and make sure we start grinding and putting together, you know, four song samplers and making sure we get them to different outlets, okay? That's what he's doing. Okay, great, I'm glad to see where your buzz. So tell me where the buzz is. What stations, what cities are really hot? Oh, well, Boston loves him. Philadelphia loves him. Um, Florida loves him. Oh, great. So he's like, okay, these are the markets we're going heavy. Everybody wants you to advertise in Florida, we want you to advertise in Boston, we want you to snipe those places up, like make it really big. Okay, Felicia, we told you that Boston, we told you that Miami, we told you that Philadelphia are hot. So you go and find those publications in those markets that are hot. So I'm going to go to Philadelphia Inquirer, I'm going to go to Boston Examiner, I'm going to go to the Miami Herald, and I'm going to make sure I get a feature, I'm going to make sure I get some kind of mention, I'm going to make sure I get on local TV and really make sure that happens. Then we're going to take the record and we're going to put it in stores. But before we do that, you're going to see what stores in Boston are really going to support the record and who are going to buy the record. Because you have FYE, you have, gosh, you have um, Virgin Records, you know what I'm saying? You have to figure out who's going to really support the record, who's going to buy the most records in quantity, so that when it's time to put on the show, it can actually be sold. So that's the best way I can give a breakdown. So if you're understanding where my part is, that's where I'm saying I'm not on the totem pole, but it's so many people prior to me that have to tell me where to go. I can't just go to Boston and try to inspect a feature if there's no radio there, if there's no marketing there, because they have no idea what I'm talking about if I call and say, hey, promote my artist. So that's the best way I can do it. So wow, that was great. Visual works. Uh, <laughs> we're going to jump really quick to uh, new technology since, you know, everybody thinks that you still got to go and break down somebody's door at a label to have a deal. And there's so much that you guys now can be taken advantage of where the playing field, in my opinion, can start to begin to level. And I don't know how many trade magazines you guys read. There's a, a library on 42nd Street and you guys can get just about any trade magazine, the one that costs like $500, $300 a year to order. It's important for you to know what's happening in the industry, the changes, you know, um, when certain key people at labels are leaving, what labels they're going to. A lot of times people are, you know, they're sold on uh, certain labels, but they don't know what is going on at that label. That may be the worst time to get that deal that you've been waiting for, all right? So a lot of that comes from Reading the industry papers, reading um, online. There's so many, there's so many different sites that are just giving you information out there about, you know, what is going on in the industry, and that's important. I don't care if your manager's not doing it, 
not something you should be bringing back to your managers. Like, yo, you're shocked at me where? <laughs> so <laughs> technology, new technology, the internet is a means of us catching up and stop thinking that our only means of distribution is from a labor perspective. There's so much we can do before we go to get that deal, we actually may put us in a better bargaining position. We may, we may actually negotiate a better deal, or after we sign that first deal, we know once we prove with certain numbers, we can go back to the table and renegotiate. So in talking about new technology, I wanted to know, um, this is, uh, I'm gonna ask each panelist to address this because there's different ways that, that it can be exploited by new technology on the internet. How would you recommend an artist use the internet to further their career? I mean, as a record label, I wouldn't suggest an artist do it on his own at all. Like, taking money out of my pocket. I mean, I, I would be, but to be fair, in the venue that we're in, I mean, if you can sell your CDs online. MySpace is unbelievable. You know, 87 million people on a website. You know, that's insane. That's, that's what this man does on steroids. You know, MySpace is the ultimate showcase. I mean, and, and people are selling CDs on them and promoting tours and you know, that's, that's really right now, you know, the internet is, is the biggest, I would think, new technology and, and new way to distribute. You know, it's national distribution deal. You know, you, you, worldwide distribution deal, international distribution deal. If you can start to move product on the internet, you know, and it's, it's easy to set up, what do you call it? Uh, E-commerce, yeah, e yeah. simple to set up. PayPal, all of those. Exactly. There's so many companies that are out there to help you. Of course, that's not what he's really telling you. It's like, that's okay, not what I'm telling you to do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Last Records is more like Barry Gordy used to have. We develop our own artists, and you know, that was one thing that I, I didn't see at the other labels I was at. But, but so if, an artist, if an artist is bringing you numbers and say, look, you know, look at how many hits this, yeah, you know, I'm going to try to sign you on the spot. I, you know, I see some people's pages, and it's like 29,000 people mm -hmm. at least said, well, let me hear it. Doesn't because tell I, you the duration they listened to, yeah. it, but at least they wanted to hear But I had, I had an artist sign to my label whose website got 2 million hits a week. You know, so record didn't work out, but you know, I had, that's, I, that's why I went to go get her though, because it's like, you know, I had to have it at that point. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a following and it's a visible following. And that's what, like, just like Felicia said, you know, you see your core following, I mean, it makes you a lot more attractive. And if you, you're already moving units on the, online, how can we deny that? Yeah, like I said, you got MySpace, you have CDBaby.com, you have SoundClick, you have Artist Now. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of ways that you, you know what I'm saying, you can move your music if you really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Not anything against the record labels, but there are like, you know what I'm saying, it depends on which way you want to go. If you're looking to make money, you really don't need a record label. If you're looking, you know what I'm saying, for all the exposure, the TV and the videos, you can go with a big record label, have them spend a whole lot of money on you, whatever, but you really don't need a label. You pretty much can shoot your own video, 2G, 5G, have it come out good. All it just takes is a good editor. And your video can pretty much look like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told all the artists that I manage, like, yo, you really don't need a label. Like, if you want to do promotion, like, <laughs> 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 look, what you talking about? What is that? I didn't think you did. I didn't think you did at all. But it's, it's, it's true, you know what I'm saying? As far as doing a promotion, you know what I'm saying? You can put your money together. You know what I'm saying? If you got a click, who have money and they believe in you, they definitely gonna get the money together, put your own posters together, put your own street team together. You selling CDs, and you selling a thousand CDs at ten dollars a pop, you do the math. You know what I'm saying? That's ten G's in your pocket. You got your money to do your promotions, you got your money to do your videos. You don't really, you know what I'm saying, need, you know what I'm saying, the label. Sooner or later, the label's gonna come to you. And that's more negotiating power. And liquid can shoot your video. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, it's like you really, like pretty much everything, you know what I'm saying, can be self-contained when it comes, you know what I'm saying, you can pretty much build your own team, you can, you can find, you know what I'm saying, a publicist or, you know what I'm saying, hire Felicia, 
to pretty much do your work. Like pretty much you can do anything that a label can do. She works for a major label. 